G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be doing a character design session live on Twitch. The link to my future streams is on the screen and in the description. So I take all the suggestions put forward by the Twitch chat, uh, especially ones that pop up several times and Demon has come out on top. And the winner of the character design attribute uh, is Cybernetic, f closely followed by Vlogger. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the vlogger thing was a bit of a joke because everyone in chat was teasing me as to the fact I started a vlog channel. If you haven't checked it out, feel free to check it out. There's a behind the scenes thing. And in that in the video for today, I did the behind the scenes of this stream. So I'm doing daily vlogs of what I'm doing for that day and then also interacting with you guys. So check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, let's get straight to work. We're going to be creating a cybernetic demon. So to start off, I'm actually gonna do things a little bit differently. Uh, now, the process I always go with with the character design is starting off just brainstorming concepts and fiddling around. I am gonna do that, but I'm actually gonna start drawing a demon face and a cybernetic face. So I'm not gonna refine either concept, but I'm gonna try and sketch a, a, a bit of a basic uh, foundation of, of both on the sides and then play around in the middle in some mixing and matching and how they might work together. Okay, so I've done some rough concepts and I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really feeling uh, many of these. And then I was struck with this idea. Um, I think I've been trying to mix this raw demon and raw cyborg thing uh, in a way that like they're both sort of different. A demon is mystical and a cyborg is mechanical. So I thought that instead of just going pure mechanical with the cyborg parts, I'd mix that with the mysticism. And I came up with this concept here. Basically the idea being that there's this overall demonic character with uh, areas of the body torn apart and separated uh, that are joint to shining metal, but connected to that with like spikes. So it's gonna look nice and raw at the joins. And then in these separated areas, they're gonna be floating and there'll be uh, sort of magical orbs that are gonna look really shiny and chromish and whatever. So I guess the concept here is that in mixing the demon and the cybernetic, we do so with some mysticism and I feel like I've hit gold. I feel like I really like this concept specifically, even this head, because the, the head doesn't even need to be very cybernetic because the execution throughout the entirety of the character is ticking those boxes and I'm really enjoying this. So I'm going to do a very rough uh, overall whole body design, just very rough sketch to see uh, how I feel about it and then we'll go from there.
Okay, so this is my preliminary concept. I just wanted to visualize uh, in a body how that would look and I made it asymmetrical. So I moved one of the power orbs up to the shoulders and the other one is at the bicep. And uh, I'm really liking how this is tied together. Now do keep in mind the blue and reds that I've used here. These are not my color scheme per se. These are visual aids. So I did this, I colored the cybernetic parts in blue and the demon parts in red so I could clearly see where they meet and it gives me a very clear impression as to how it's divided into these two parts that make up the whole character and I'm really happy with it and I'm happy now to go forward with the concept. Uh, I'll play around with a bit with a color palette once I've done my line work and see what works well but otherwise I'm going to get straight into my refined final concept so uh, wish me luck. Okay, so I have my finished cyborg demon here and I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. But the, the thing is, now that I'm onto color, I actually don't really have a clear idea as to how I'm gonna go about the color scheme. So what I've done is I've scanned my demon here and I've printed a sheet of paper on some Copic worthy paper uh, and uh, duplicated this character in four small thumbnails. And I'm gonna play around with color palettes until I find something that I'm happy with. So my first three demons, I'm just gonna muck around and experiment a little bit with just some different color combinations. And then when I think I have a feeling for the color combo I'm gonna go with, I'll try and apply that to my, my fourth demon here and uh, see how that feels. And if it feels right, I'll go ahead with it. If it needs some tweaks, I'll, uh, I'll just try and make those tweaks in the final piece and hope it turns out well. All right, so I experimented with a few things here. I'm still not 100% on the direction I should go in. I started off with some more warm colors, but I do feel like that was more mystical and demonic, and there wasn't enough cybernetic in, in its feeling. So down here, I went with some more purpley and bluey colors, and then eventually more of a, a solid blue color. And uh, as you can see in the end there, I actually um, sort of inefficiently swapped the, the chrome obsidian blue black metalling for a gold. Now obviously it's inefficient because I just swapped halfway through but I wanted to see what the gold would look like and the Twitch chat was sort of throwing some suggestions and gold was one of the things they were suggesting for the metal and I actually think I'm going to go in that direction. So I'm going to go with a really black uh, dark skin color and I'm going to go with gold metal and electric blue uh, orb power orb things. I'm also going to add some effects so have some glowing 
uh, lightening around his hand and add some edging around the character, perhaps in an ice blue or an electric blue. I'm really hoping it's going to look good, but it's actually a really tricky one to color. So uh, fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Let's get started. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I am done. And I've got to say, this turned out way cooler than I expected it would. This is one of the reasons I love doing the character design sessions, because this is a character I honestly can't imagine I would have come up with on my own, um, but with the random aspect uh, of the character design sessions, it's really cool because we end up with something just completely different. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. He doesn't look mechanical as far as cyborgs go, but I tried to take that aspect of mixing in the tech and the metal and the the augmented aspect of cybernetics and implement that with a demonic character and the way that this has come together is something I'm really really happy with. This has got to be one of my favorite character design sessions so far so I really hope you guys enjoyed the result of it. Once again make sure to join future Twitch streams by clicking the link on the screen and in the description and if you enjoy any of these character design sessions or let's draws or anything like that and you want the high resolution art. Uh, I don't have it available at the moment anywhere, but once every year I update my artwork archive, which is at the jazzastudios.com shop, and that always includes all of the high resolution uh, character designs and illustrations and paintings and let's draws that I do. So if you want to check that out and if you want to grab that, it's only six bucks and every year there's an update and you'll get all the high res pictures of all your favorite character design sessions. So you can have them as a wallpaper or something like that, or even print them out and put them on your wall. Anyways, thanks so much for joining everyone and until next time i'll see you later thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week if you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself head over to my store for archives ebooks digital brushes video courses and more if you enjoyed this video here's a link to another video you might like from this channel and if you want even more make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel daily jazza Draw with Jazza is proudly sponsored by Adobe. Join the creative cloud today and get loads of incredible creative tools like Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro, and other apps for your computer or mobile device. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.